Welcome back to Olivia's Mindful Garden and Plants. Um, today we have a number of projects to do. So I have been to the garden centre and I've bought all my plants for baskets and a few other little projects which I will share with you shortly. So this year I've had to replace some of my wicker baskets um, and I've bought these new ones. Um, there's two of them there. Uh, and I have bought a number of plants. So my theme this year um, is very soft, pastel colours, um, light pinks and whites. So there's a number of them here. And once I've made my choice for each basket, I'll go through each of them with you. There we are. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we've come into the shed this afternoon to do my first project, which will be um, planting this container. So um, you'll see that it has a lid and a small little catch at the front. And the purpose of this type of container is that you hang this from either a tree or a um, special hook or um, even a very sturdy special hooked post out in the garden or, or you can put them just on top of a table uh, and on display anywhere um, that you like within your garden. Um, at the bottom here there is a small shallow tray which does not have drainage holes at the bottom. So I have filled the bottom of this container with a little bit of gravel. And that is so that when I put the pot inside and it rains, um, the plants inside this container won't get waterlogged. Um, I have uh, another plastic pot. Um, this pot had a rim on it and I had to cut all the way round just so that it fits perfectly inside. There we are. And the plants that I've selected, once they're all inside, will start trailing down the edges and through the tops so that in the end you'll hardly see any of the metal um, and you'll see just beautiful flowers. So let's get started on this project. So this is the verbena, which I've put in the corner. This one is a lobelia, white lobelia. I'll take some of the soil off just so that I can pack it in tight. Um, this will need regular feeding over the summer months, um, just to keep them really lovely and fresh. Um, I won't be putting these outside yet and that's still because um, it's quite um, chilly at night and I don't want these plants damaged. Um, they've been in the nursery undercover all this time so they will need a period inside and then hardening off. So hardening off just means you bring it out every day um, for a number of days during the day and then slowly they'll acclimatise and then you can leave them outside um, for the day and night. So you've just got to um, be patient um, but you will be rewarded. Um, this last one is a trailing fuchsia. It's called uh, Buds of May Time After Time. I'll show you all of the tickets uh, at the end. So let's just put some more soil here. Tuck that in. Probably could get another one in the middle, um, but I think just to give them a little bit of room, this will be more than enough. So the plants I have here are, so as I said, the Darling Buds of May, which is a lovely trailing fuchsia. I have put a Verbena Showboat, lovely pink. 
I've also put the Lobelia, which is a lovely white. Uh, a upright happy uh, wedding day fuchsia so that will stand a little bit proud and the last one is an ivy geranium sun flare ava white there you are beautiful um, I could try and put this one in a trailing pink galore um, but I think um, it's more than enough in there so the last thing to do is just fill everything up to make sure there are no gaps all the way around. Press gently down, not too hard, but just enough to make sure that there are no gaps in between the plants and the soil that you've just put in. There we are. Of course I'm going to water them in. And then I will place it in this container and show you the end result. Here we are, all done. So I have taken some of the plants, um, the stems, slightly through the gap in the bars, and that's just to encourage them to grow outside there. All the way around. So eventually they'll start cascading down the side so you won't see much of the pot. And there is the finished product. I really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today. The next video we're going to take uh, as many of the plants that you see here and place them into the baskets. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you do subscribe so that you can be alerted to my next video. Take care now. Bye.